Take a deep breath, motherfucker. <sighs> Welcome to the best Japanese lesson in the galaxy. I am your Sensei Joe, and today I'm going to teach you guys something very interesting. The word of the day is E. In English, you would use the letter E. But in Japanese, you pronounce it like E because that's just how it is. Now, there are different uses of this word and、uh, different meanings. So, I'm going to start off with the easiest one. All right. Say, um, if the person you're talking to said something that you can believe, you know, you just want that person to repeat that because it's just so outrageous. Something like, hey, I have blue nipples. And you want to say, what? Pardon? Then you would say, eh? That's how you use it. Eh? It's kind of like saying, what? What did you say? Huh? Eh? That's. Pretty easy, right? Pretty straightforward. Now, keep in mind that this is not the formal way to say it. Because if you're talking to an elder person or if you're talking to a stranger, clearly this is gonna be rude. Because it's just like saying, huh? to the person who is older than you. So, this is not what you would say when you're talking to an elder person or a stranger. This is、uh, used frequently、uh, between friends. So, that's when you say, eh? Eh? What? Huh? All right, now the next use is this one you can see a lot、uh, on the internet too, like especially on 2chan. By the way, 2chan is the original version of 4chan because you know that kind of、uh, sites were originated in Japan, you know, so、um, it's basically where people、uh, go on and comment about anything on the internet. But、uh, you can see a lot of people uh, saying uh, the, this, this word. Eh? Eh? That's right.、Uh, the first one I taught you, there is only one e,、eh, but this one you、um, either can have two e,、eh, or you can have one big e、eh、and a small e.、Eh. Now,、uh, there aren't too many differences. The way in, in which you pronounce these two forms, it's practically the same. It's just a way of、um, expressing this、uh, phrase. So you just say, eh? Eh, eh. See how it's kind of、um, sounding like you're cringed out. Because this is, you can use this when you are indeed cringy,、um, cringed out about something, when you're finding something a little,、uh, like when you're mildly disagreeing with something, you can say, eh. You know, you're kind of、uh, freaking out mildly about something.、Um, if, say, if someone said something like, Well, the other night I was playing with my nipples too much that it fell off. No, like seriously, it fell off. And then you'd be like, eh. So the nuance here is you're kind of saying, like, what? You know, you're like, what? What? That's the、uh, way in which you use, eh. So if you're arguing with somebody on the internet, you know, and、um, For example, I don't know, let's just say you guys are talking about how you guys can save the earth by not cutting down trees. And then there's this random dude talking about, well, I don't care about the earth, I'm gonna cut down trees.、Ah. And then you can say, eh, you know, when that is like the only guy who is disagreeing with the whole group, you know, when you guys are all going with,、uh, yeah, let's save earth and save paper. And then there's just this one guy who's against all that, um, You know, idea. And then you guys can just say, eh. You know, it's、uh, the idea is you're saying something like, what? Like, what are you talking about? You know, it's like, what? So you're kind of feeling cringy about it, or you're mildly disagreeing with something, then you can say, eh. And it's really important to、uh, put that intonation, like, eh, going up. You can't say, eh. It, 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 Never works that way. Eh, go up, okay? Eh, go up, okay? Eh, go up, okay? Now,、um, the next way in which you can use the eh is when somebody is messing around with you and you clearly know that the person is messing around with you, it can work as、um, an element to make that joke even funnier. So let's just say that you went to a restaurant with your friend, right? And then your friend's telling you, oh, yeah, you know, Joe, don't worry about it. I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna pay for your dinner today, no worries. And I'm like, oh dude, thank you. And then the waiter comes up and the friend is like, well, uh, Joe here is gonna pay for everything. Ha <laughs> ha. And then, you know, that's clearly messing around. It's joking around, right? Then you can say something like, eee! You know, just elongate the A like, eee! So that um, it's kind of like uh, a comedy show, you know? If, if you're the type of person who watches a lot of uh, Japanese comedy show, you will see this a lot. Like, someone would say something uh, stupid, and then the other person's like, what? You know? Um, so in this case, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna pay for your dinner. It's like, thank you. Well, actually, he's gonna pay for the dinner. Oh, uh -huh. and then you're like, what? And it's like, what are you talking about? What? And then, if there's a third person watching that conversation, um, it could be funny because you guys are like team working. One guy says something uh, funny, and then the other person makes it even funnier by saying, Ey! so uh, making funny faces can help very much. Uh -huh. And um, you can even step this up a little more. And once again, you can see this in comedy shows in Japan, you know, um, basically the strength uh, will control how intense it is. So for example, um, you can, you can in, in that restaurant situation, you can just go, eh, like you can just totally go over the top. And sometimes that'll be funny because you're reacting way too much to it. It's like, what? You know, it's the same idea with English. You know, it's like what if you do that? It's gonna be funny, and um, I think you'll see this sometimes in animes too, right? Like one of those animes that have uh, comical uh, scenes to it. You know, like it's like and you know uh, the, the hair is going all up, and the background is like all lines, and it's like yeah. So um, those are basically the uses of it. And uh, as you may have noticed, the first it that I showed you is only one letter it, but the other ones uh, contain more than one letter it. So it's like a or a or a. Like you can use uh, either hiragana or katakana depending on uh, how you want to express this. But uh, yeah, I think that was pretty interesting, right? <laughs> you can do it like that. It's like, what? You're, you're burping at this moment? Eh, you can do that, you know, when you're with friends. But of course, you kind of have to get used to it on how to, how and when to use it. Because if you use this too much or when you use it in the wrong um, moment, in a situation that is not suitable for the eh, you're going to look like a dumbass and you're just going to be like this awkward dude who everyone else is going to be thinking eh, inside their mind, okay? So... Um, yeah, if you have more questions about Japanese, Sensei Joe is here to help you. And let me know in the comments. Alrighty. I'll see you guys uh, three years later, okay? <laughs>